So we are very interested in the evidence base around long COVID and have had a number of initiatives running for about a year and a half trying to get the various uh, researchers around the world that have cohort studies on long COVID, getting them to work together and pool that information and figure out what the actual risks of long COVID are. And there are future studies that are, are planned and, and will be coming out about that uh, joint work with many groups. This week, we use those insights uh, with, our, with the World Health Organization European Regional Office and put out an analysis of what the implication of the cohort studies were for the European region. 17 million people in 2020 and 2021 with long COVID, uh, where long COVID is defined as symptoms running three months or more. And at the heart of it, you know, the, the, it does point out that long COVID is a real problem. Uh, it's quite considerable numbers globally and by region. And what we do know from the examination of the cohort studies is that it seems to be a higher risk of long COVID the more severe your case was. So much higher probabilities of long COVID if you went to the ICU or you were hospitalized than if you had mild symptoms. It's also a higher risk uh, in adults than in children. And the risk, uh, there's some people who have, uh, by definition, you know, three months uh, of symptoms. And then there are still some people in the cohort studies that have symptoms at 12 months. So some uh, long COVID can be very long indeed. The numbers, roughly speaking, are running about 6%, everyone coming, uh, having had COVID having symptoms at three months of, of long COVID and 1% having symptoms at the end of a year. Uh, given the huge volume now of Omicron infection in the world, uh, we don't have, uh, you know, the, the implication of the number of patients with long COVID could be very large and could be a, a, a real burden on society and on health systems and on the individuals who are affected. But we don't have the same cohort data available yet uh, specifically or very much less specifically about Omicron. Given the general relationship between severity and risk of long COVID, we hope that those probabilities I was quoting for long COVID are less, um, should be somewhat lower for Omicron. Regardless, it is a big issue and it is important, some of the initiatives that we've seen in the European region of coming up with strategies to help patients manage long COVID symptoms. And I'm sure we will see similar discussions around long COVID in other regions of the world um, as the epidemic continues.